Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to our piranha lessons. So today's lesson will be the dark fabrication part in Revit. Hi, hello, hello, who is just coming in? Thank you. Okay. So I hope you can see my screen right now and can hear me clearly. Hi, who are just coming in? Thank you. Okay. So now uh, I'm going to introduce myself first. Okay, my name is Anu Umira. I am the application engineer at ACAP System. So here I'm sharing with you our today lessons output. So today I'm going to show you how to find and to look the fabrication part into the project. When I'm going to admit participant. Hi, who are just coming in? Thank you. And then after I show you how to look the service, and then I'm going to show you how to insert the duct fitting, the duct uh, fabrication part into the drawing. And then I'm going to show you how you create the create the fabrication automatic fitting. And lastly, I'm going to show you how you change the uh, Revit duct model to the fabrication part. Okay, so if you have any questions, just let me know at the chat box. Okay, hopefully you can hear me. All right, so I'm going to change my, uh, this one to Revit. So I've already opened Revit here with the uh, architecture building link into it. Okay, so to generate or open the fabrication part, you go to system here, okay. And then down, down on system, you will find this fabrication column. So there is fabrication part, part, uh, buttons. And then the shortcut keys will be PB. So just click on that one. And then you will find this metric, uh, sorry, MEP fabrication part box. Hi, who are just coming in? Thank you. Okay, so this is where you can look or you can find your part. So currently, I didn't load any of fabrication part yet. So that's why I didn't have any option here. So if I want to add the fabrication part, down here, there is setting box. Okay, so you need to go down there and click on the setting box. And this box will pop up, which is the fabrication setting. So under the fabrication configurations, there is none option. So that's why I didn't have any options or any part that I can choose here. Okay, so you just toggle on the none, click on that one, and then you will find the options of the content, fabrication content down there. So if you if your Revit version didn't have any of uh, choices of fabrication content down there, other than none, so you need to install it again. So to install it, I show you how to download it. Hi, who are just coming in? Thank you. Okay. So to download the fabrication part content library into your Revit, so you need to go to your Autodesk account and then you search on fabrication cat mat. You didn't have to download this software, you just download the library of the software, okay? And then you go to the version that you use. So if you use Revit 2023 or the previous version of the Revit, you better use the same version uh, of your Revit. So currently I'm using 2024. So I'm going to use the 2024 version of fabrication cat mat. And then I didn't have to install it. I just go down here. That is library option. Okay. You click on this library options. And these two type of content will pop up, which is one for the imperial. And then one for the MEP metric content. Okay. So you just click on download here. And after you click on download, just run installation as usual. Okay, so this is how you download the fabrication part content library if in your Revit didn't have any of uh, fabrication parts that you can choose. Okay, so like uh, as I already do the installation, so I have this option which is fabrication metric 8.0.
Okay. So I just choose on that one. And then down here, you can see this is unloaded services. So previously, if you're familiar with, uh, with Revit verification part, it differentiates. Hi, who are just coming in? Thank you. Okay, so if you are familiar with the verification part, so before this, the uh, letter, the previous version, it separate the services according to its type, uh, the duct type, the pipe type, and so on. Okay, and then now for the latest versions, so you it's separated uh, according to its system type. Okay, you can see it's for hashback, we have the return, supply, put extra, and so on. Okay, so this is the latest version. So if you see, the services are currently in unloaded services. So that's what I cannot see in our project. So to load into our project, so you select what services that you want. So for me, I'm going to select all the hash facts here, okay? And then I click on this arrow, green arrow here. There is an add button there. So click on that one, it will change the site. The, uh, it will change the, in, it will change it into loaded services, okay? And then after you change it to loaded services, you click on okay. And then you might need to wait for a second. And then you can see in your services part here are already have the uh, system or the fabrication part that you can choose. A moment, there is a chat. Okay. Download link. Sure, I will share the download link later in our in the end of our um lesson today. Okay, I will share the link. All right. So here there is service. Okay, we we have services palette. So, so services where you uh change the system type just now that you load. Okay, you can see there is supply return dot board and so on, and then the palette is actually the type of the duct okay if i click on the rectangular here you can find there is a few type of palettes that you can use rectangular round line and hangers for the support okay so let me show you one example how you add in in uh, add the fabrication part into your point into your drawing okay so i need to show you in two view to make it more clear so I'm going to open 3D view tool, and then make it side by side like this. All right. All right, okay. So now to add in, if I I already have this mechanical equipment insert in my drawing. So if you didn't insert any mechanical equipment, also can you can uh, randomly uh, draw the routing of your ducting. So I'm just going to show example how you connect it with your mechanical equipment. So if you did not, if you didn't know how to insert the mechanical equipment, you go to system tab here. There is mechanical equipment. Click on the button there, and then go to the properties. You will find the mechanical equipment that I insert. Be a unit. Okay. So, to insert the fabrication part or to link it, to connect it with your mechanical equipment, so first thing you need to know the connector. So, this one is this written connector. So, I go to the fabrication part box here. I go to services. I change my service to general written. Okay, to make it, to link it with the general, uh, with the written connector. And the first thing, I want to insert the straight type of fabrication part. Okay, of the ducting here. Click on the straight. And the first thing you need to do is you need to change the elevation. So as I'm opening the ceiling mechanical, that's why I cannot see or I cannot view the duct in my cursor here. So I need to change the elevations. 
So I go to properties here. There is middle elevation. So I change it to 3000. Okay, above my ceiling plan. Now, if I bring to my ceiling plan view, I can see the ducting. Okay, you can see that. All right? So for the sizes, usually it will automatically refer the origin. Okay, let's say I have this connector. So it this connector have their own dimensions. So to make it link to this connector, you need to close on this smart snapping up here. Okay, close on this one and then bring it to the connector here. You can see the ducts, the ducting size are changing to the connector size. Okay, this one, if I didn't bring my cursor to the connector here, it will uh, remain the default sizing, 400 by 400. But if I bring my cursor to this connector, it will follow the connector size. Okay, you can see. And then if I place on that one, so you can see in 3D view, there is the ducting. Okay. So I can keep on adding like that. Okay. So it will continue according to how many duct, straight duct that you insert. Okay. And then for the size, so let's say you want to change the length of your ducting here. Okay, you can change it before you add the ducting or, or after you add the ducting. So if you want to change the length of your straight part before you add into your project, you need to go to properties here. And then down here, you will find there is dimensions. So currently, the length option are be set by auto. So that's why we have this kind of length around 1,500 length. Okay, so wherever I insert the uh, ducting, it will remain as 100. 1,500 length. So let's say I want to change the length to 2,000 or 2,500. So in, in the property tab, the length option, I need to change it to value. And now the value or the length value, I can change to whatever I want. Okay, maybe I change to 2,500. And if I place on it, it will be more the line will change according to the value I add in the properties. You can see? Okay. So this is before you add in your uh, part in your project. So you change the length in the properties. So let's say you want to change the uh, part that already in your project. Okay, let's say this one. Okay, you want to change the length. So there is two options, which is if you click on the duck, you will find this dimension. You can see this blue dimension here. So there is the length, 1,500. So you can change it here. Okay. Once you change the length, it will change the length of the duck according to your value here. Or you can also change it by clicking up here. There is the edit part option. Click on this one, you can also change it here. Okay, edit part box. Okay, you can see the length, the value, the, uh, the depth value, the width value. So if I change it here, maybe for 3000, apply. You can see the dot are changing to what value I insert in this edit part box. Okay. So this one, if you want to change after you placing the ducting. All right. So let's say I want to add the pen or the elbow. Okay, radius pen here, there's elbow. So maybe I want to add the radius pen. I just click on this one. And then I didn't even bother to change the size because usually if you adding the fabrication part, it will automatically Regen generate the part according the size of your origin. Okay, you can see. Okay, this connector. So if I bring to this connector of the uh ducting here, so it will the elbow or the band will automatically follow the size of this duct. Okay. 
If I place on that one, you can see the placement are uh, the size of the band are according to the dot thing. Okay, so if you want to like change the direction of the band, so you can either move up and down your mouse or you can show the help to tick here. Okay, so if you I click on this show help to tool tips, so on my cursor there is like a sign where uh, space is for what you click on space for the rotate, you click on up arrow is for the toggle connector. So let's say I click on space keys in my keyboard, so you can see it rotating the L uh, the uh, band. Okay. See, so if I place on this one. I rotate it, you can see it's rotate 360, okay. So if you, are, you want to tangle the connector, you click on up arrow, it will tangle the connector like that. And if you want hide, if you want to hide the tool tips, just click on HT in your keyboard, so it will disappear. So if you click again, it will appear again, okay. Alright, so to rotate, as I said just now, if you want to rotate, after you insert the um, elbow, the band also can. So let's say I click on this one. So you can see in 3D view. Okay, like that. Okay, it's, uh, it's showing to this side. Okay, moment. And then if you want to rotate, Maybe you want to change you want change you want to change your mind, you want to change the side of your elbow or your band. Just click on the band again, and then you will find there is the rotate sign there. Okay, so if you click on this rotate signs and this rotate signs again will pop up 60 de 90 degree. So if I change, if I click on is this either of this arrow, it will change the side the side of your uh, elbow. You can see this one, it's going up. This one go to this side. This one going down. Okay. You can also change the rotations, the side of the uh, band after you place it. Okay. And you can also change the angle of this elbow or this band. So to change the angle of this band, you can go to properties here. Hi, who are just coming in? Thank you. Okay, you go to properties, you will find under dimension that is angle. Okay, so you can either change here or you can also change in edit part. It will be the same format. Okay, either these two. Okay. Then if I change the angle, maybe uh, 75 degree, I click on apply. So you can see the angle are changing. Okay, then if it's uh, rotating, you just use this uh, button to rotate it back uh, according to your side. Okay, so if you want to change it here, also can 45 degree maybe. So you can see it's changing the angle of the band. Okay, and then you can continue adding the dark thing like that. And then let's say after you add in dark thing, you have uh you want to add smaller dark thing. So, uh, if you're using the uh, Revit model dark thing, so you can uh, freely change the size, right? So if you use the fabrication part, you need to add the transition fitting. Okay. So under the same services, you go to the services here, you will find there is Tepper. Okay, Tepper is actually for the transition fitting. Okay, so you click on the Tepper. Okay, for the Tepper, under properties, so I did I don't need to see on this primary end. Okay, I just need to change the value for the secondary end. Because for the primary end, it will automatically according or automatically generate the size according to the origin of the duct thing here. You can see? Okay. Okay. What I need to change is just the secondary end. 
So secondary AN is the transition, the ducting size that you want to change from what size to what size. Okay. So maybe I'm going to change the secondary N to uh, 300 by 300. Okay. And then for the primary N, I didn't have to change anything. So I just bring my cursor to this part, okay, this ducting. And then you can see the secondary N will follow the size that I just insert. And then if I want to add the duct again, go back to the straight here. And then I didn't even bother to change the size here because it will automatically uh, use the origin size like that. Okay, you can see I didn't have to change the dimension again. All right? So for the taper, you can also change the um the position of the transition. Okay, so let's say I'm going to add this one. I'm going to make it bigger, for example. Okay, and then if I place on that one, I click on the tapper again and go to edit part. So you can see, maybe you want to change this, the type of the transition or the shape of the transition. So currently the transition offset width and offset depth are in center. So that's why uh, the transition are uh, in center, okay? You see this one? So it's changing the size uh, from the center of the ducting. So let's say you want to make it to the side, to the left side, to the right side, okay? Just click on the transition again or the tapper again, go to edit type. So you go to offset width here, we change the setting, the central setting to the maybe flat right, and then the that uh, to the flat bottom. So you click on apply. Okay, you can see the shape of your transition are changing. So it will uh, move it to the right side like that. Okay, the transition are not the center, but to the right side. Okay, if in 3D view, you can see it's like this. Okay, so if you continuing to add the, the straight, so it will continue on this side. Okay, and then let's say you want to add support, you want to add hanger. So you just go to the palette here, change the rectangular to hanger. Okay, if I change it to hanger, so the services here also be changed to hanger type. So we have two types, which is rectangular barrier and some around duct support. So if you are using the other version of the fabrication part content library, so it might differ different, uh, the services might be different from what I have here. Okay, so I just using the rectangle barrier here. And if I want to place the hanger, I place it on the straight part here. Okay, the size of, of the hanger, it will automatically generate to what the size of the straight part I have here. So you can see, it generate automatically. Okay, it will read the size of my uh, duct thing, and then it will follow the size. Okay, you see in 3D view. So you can see, and the rod will be attached to any structure on the top of this um, ducting, okay? So I have floor uh, on the top of ducting. So you can see it will automatically, the rod will automatically attach to the floor, okay? Any of structure above this um, ducting, okay? Automatically. Right, so this is how you adding the uh, part, okay, the fabrication part, the uh, hanger into your project. So this is where you add it one by one, the fitting you add one by one, the transition elbow and so on. So let's say you want to draw, sketch it uh, manually, and then the fitting will be automatically adding A. So to do that, you need to change it back, the palette, you need to change it back to rectangular. So maybe I show you 
uh, example on the round shape okay and then beside these palettes there is the start multi point routing okay this icon here okay so just click click on that one and then for the round you want to change the size of the round you need to change this in this product entry so currently the size is 80 so maybe i change it to bigger size and then same as the dark thing just now you need to insert the middle elevation if you are using the one silly mechanical to to view it in the top view okay same elevation so now maybe i add it here okay so you can see if I sketch it like this, okay, the fitting are automatically be added. Right? So the different you uh, you draw it like this or you add uh, and you add it by one by one is the fitting. Okay. If you add it one by one, you can choose any fitting that you want. But if you draw it like this, the fitting will be uh, choose by default, okay? And then you cannot like change the uh, size uh, directly, you need, if I change the size directly, it will not be, you will not uh, attach the fitting together. So if you want to change the size, I recommend you to add it one by one like this, okay? But if you want to uh, use this part, okay? This multi uh, point routing, you can also do that. Okay. So this is how you add the um dark thing in your project. So let's say you have your own uh you already have the uh, routing, uh, um, but you're using the rectangle, uh, but you're using the rabbit dark thing model. So let me open it for you. This one. One moment. Okay, so let example here. I already you already draw the ducting using the rabbit ducting model. Okay, now you want to change it to fabrication part. So to do that, I change it in this part. Okay, in this top view. This one. So to do that, just select all of ducting here. Any of your ducting that you already created in your project, like this. And then I'm going to go to filter. I'm just going to select only the duct fitting and ducts part only. Apply, okay. And then if you're selecting the ducting, you will find there is design to fabrication button up here. Okay, so if you click on that one, your environment will change to change service editor. Okay. And then your uh, MEP fabrication part here will change to this views. Okay. This work, uh, this interface. Okay. So you can change the services. You can change the palettes, rectangular, round. And then usually the size uh, here will automatically uh, being added according to the size of your uh, duct thing. Okay. So you can see this one is for the main and then this one is for the transition there. Okay. So if you're okay with these services, if you want to change services, you can change it here. So for me, it's okay because this one is the written. So it's correct. And then I click on finish up here. Then you can see it's automatically changing the pipe, I'm uh, sorry, the duct to the fabrication duct. Okay. So same goes to the other one, this one, the supply. Okay, select everything, go to filter, and then I'm going to only select the duct only. Then click again on the design fabrication. Okay. So now, the services, I change it to supply. Okay, this one are already correct. Then click on finish up here. So now the supply 
uh, service, the supply that are also been changing to the fabrication part. So what disappear here are the color. You can see, so uh, if I want to know what kind of the uh, dark pin here, I need to click on that one, go to properties and then check on this fabrication services. So this one is for written supply, uh, written app. So you, you need to do this step to know what kind of dark thing are being added. Okay. So to show the color, okay, to make it show the color of the services, the dark services, okay, you need to use the filter option. Okay. So to do that, you go to view tab. Under view tab, there is graphic color. And then there is filter button that. Okay, so you click on that one. And then you need to create a filter for the fabrication part. Okay, so you go down here. There is new filter to add new filter. So this one maybe for written fabrication part. Okay. And then for the categories here, you need to find the MEP dot work, verification dot work, and then go to the filter rules. So go to the none here, change it to verification service name, and then this will be equal to uh general return. Okay, then click apply, click OK. Now you go to the visibility slash graphic. So before that, uh, sorry, before you go to visibility slash graphic, you need to change the template first to none. And then you go to visibility slash graphic, go to filter tab here, you add the filter that you just created just now. The written fabrication part, click on OK. And now you can change the color here. Okay, so let's say, I changed the color to the written color just now, magenta. Okay, this one solid, solid, magenta. Okay, so you can see under the pattern here are already uh, for the written fabrication part, the color already changed to magenta. Click on apply, click on okay, and you can see it's showing the color for the written. Uh, internet. Okay. Okay. You can see the properties. The services are generated, so it's correct. Okay. So you can use this method to add colors to your fabrication part. So you can use this method not only for the written. You can use for the piping for the uh, supply and so on. Okay. Uh, so I will share you the link where you download the fabrication part a moment. Okay. So this one you need to go into your AutoCAD, Autodesk, uh, Autodesk. Sorry, moment. To go to your Autodesk account, moment. Share the link for you. Okay. Right. Sign into my account, please.
right? So once you sign into your account, you just go to the fabrication software. Okay, and then you can download it here. There is download. Or you can also use this link. Here we have fabrication product 2023. So if you have the 2024, you can just change the version here. Okay, then I will share you in the chat box. Okay, so you can see in the chat chat box uh for child you born. Okay, you can see there is the link where you can download the fragration content. Okay, so if you didn't have the link, you can go to the fragration cat map in your Autodesk account. And then you will find there is the content down here under the library. And then you can download and run the installation as usual. Okay. So is there any question you want to ask me? So that is the end of our lesson today. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you to you too. So... Uh, before we end our uh, lesson, I just want to share with you our uh, website. Okay, you just go to ACAD system. And then uh, if you're interested to join our next few online lessons, you just scroll down in our website. And then you will find this, uh, our next few online lessons. Okay, then you can register and we will send you email for the link, the Zoom link and also the date. And then if you want to rewatch this free online lesson or today lessons, you can go to our YouTube channel. And then you can just uh, explore the videos here. Okay, this is our previous uh, YouTube, uh, previous free online lessons. Okay, you can, you can, uh, you can watch it here. Okay, and then you can explore. There is so much more uh, topic and software don't forget to subscribe us too okay and then that's all for today's lessons thank you everyone for joining me today and thank you for spending your time for me okay thank you have a good day to ccw thank you everyone take care bye bye